So I hope you're enjoying this Christmas progressive story all about Christmas. You know, yesterday we talked about two godly individuals called Zachariah and Elizabeth. And they had a need. Their need was they wanted a baby. They prayed, they prayed, and Gabriel the angel came one day to Zechariah and gave him the promise that they were going to have a baby. And they did. The name of the baby was to be called John. His name was John. He ended up becoming John the Baptist. Now, I want you to understand something, that they had to wait a long, long time before God to finally fulfill their prayers. And you know what? Sometimes we wait a long, long time, but... They were both faithful to the Lord, they were committed to the Lord, and they never gave up. And I want you to understand something, because the scripture says that John the Baptist brought great joy to Zechariah and Elizabeth. It also says that John the Baptist brought great joy to the Lord. He brought the people of Israel back to the Lord. He was a messenger. And from two people who sought the Lord, God rose up an individual that brought such a blessing to the parents, as well as a blessing to the kingdom of God. What does that say to me and you? Well, when you do what you're supposed to do, and I do what I'm supposed to do, we can be blessing not only to those around us, but we can bring blessing to the Lord. You know, John the Baptist was a messenger that brought many people to the Lord, and to tell you the truth, Christmas is all about the Lord. It's about helping people to understand that the greatest gift ever given, ever given, was found in Jesus. So many people push them off. You know, they're so busy today, so many things, doing so many things, and the greatest gift is just pushed aside, never opened. But John the Baptist came before the Lord to prepare that way. So when Jesus came, things were prepared according to Galatians 4.4. 4. You know, there's a great story here, but more than a story, it's a Bible truth. Jesus came, and he came for you. And he wants to do a work in your heart and life. And so as we take day by day, and if you missed yesterday's, go to Truth Video channel on YouTube, and you can see yesterday's and other videos as well. But remember... Prayer changes things, and when God finally answers, he's going to do such a wonderful thing. You'll always remember the greatness of the Lord. And when he does, he'll give you a message for the rest of your life. Remember, we're living here to make a difference there. Merry Christmas, and the best is yet to come. See you tomorrow, and let's finish the story.